Welcome to MCOM Solutions, Jake here. So I decided a little while back that I need to kind of rethink and reorganize my mesh radio kits that I'm carrying here or operating with here in Europe, um, more specifically the country of Albania, to better suit my operating environment. So I'm in much mostly urban type operations and I'm in an environment where things like this might raise random questions that I don't really want to have to answer, whether it's going through airport security or somewhere else. Uh, they're not, Mestastic's not really a thing here, and other type of radios are not really also a thing. Uh, so it tends to create some, you know, suspicion, like what is that and what, why are you carrying it on you? Um, versus in other places, they might, a quick explanation, even though they are completely legal here and they, they fall under uh, all legal rules, it's still an unknown for a lot of people. So figured, hey, something a little more discreet and easier to carry every day just on my body without attracting a lot of attention. So when Seed Studios uh, reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to test out the SenseCap tracker, uh, the, yeah, the card tracker T1000E, uh, I was more than excited to partner up with them. Uh, cause I'd already, I'd seen some videos about them and I was like, yeah, that looks like, like a radio I want to try out. Uh, so today we're going to do kind of an initial look video like I like to do. And then as I use it over time, over the next couple months, I will probably provide additional feedback and then maybe some more tech videos just kind of like talking about how to flash it or, you know, troubleshooting if you're having problems, those type of things that we'd like to provide here at Amcom Solutions. So let's get started. Index, index. I, I hear quite a few guys coming in from the US now, it's clear. So uh, you, I think, dominate a lot, but anyway, uh, I told you, uh, uh, you know, you know, you know, all right, so when you order one of these, you're gonna get this credit card size as they claim. This is a discount card, which is the same size as any credit card. It is the same. Um, it is obviously a little thicker, but they've got a lot packed in here. We'll talk about that here in a second. You're also going to get their USB to their own style plug. This is a magnetic plug. Uh, I'll show you how it attaches here on the back. You got the little contact strips and then the magnetic parts that attaches like that. You also have to use this cable to get it in the boot mode or the force restart. We'll talk about here in a second. And then it comes also with this nylon lanyard to like hang around your neck because you got that um, little slot here on the top the d-ring attachment point that you can also slide through here and button it up which might be a good idea because it is so small it could be easy to be <laughs> misplaced it could fit in any pocket size um, it like i said it is a perfect everyday radio carry size are you going to get max Capability, probably not, but they got a lot packed in here, so we'll talk what's inside. So it has the Simtech Nordic NRF52, which is ideal for low power consumption. Uh, MediaTek GPS module for providing precision positioning and low power consumption. I've seen about three to three and a half days of uh, battery life on this radio so far. Bluetooth 5, um, IP64. Five rating, which is dust and water resistant, which is perfect for carrying every day. Because if you're out in the rain, this radio here is a 3D printed case, and if if it was directly exposed to rain, it's gonna get it's gonna ruin the radio most likely. Um, if you, uh, this, on the other hand, it'll be fine. So that makes it really versatile, I believe. So talk a little bit about the features on the radio up on the top is the power button this is used to put it turn it on and we'll there's a led green led light here and then a speaker so it does have uh it makes a, a buzzer noise when you turn it on or a little tune when it turn it on and turn it off and then when you receive a message the led might not be able to see it's green it should be flashing a little bit um showing that it's on and operating It'll turn solid green when you're charging it. And then, so that was the sound for, oops, sorry, hit the mic. Turn it in off, so notice there's no LED flash anymore. Press and hold for five seconds, as they say, wait five seconds and then it should turn. So press the button once, wait five seconds until buzzer sounds. 
Um, so then you now you're back on, and you should be able to tell that by the LED. The back, as I mentioned, you can see uh, there's a QR code there. There's a uh, operator manual it basically took you to the website. There's they actually have quite a few videos on the website too that if you want to watch those that help uh, getting it all set up. The QR codes are also on the back of the box and some instructions for turning on and then a force restart. The force restart is also to get it into uh, boot mode. So because it is in NR52, if you're familiar, if you have any rack or Lilygo TECOs, um, you know how to. You've probably done firmware flashing that way and it's it's very similar so you, you have it attached uh, on the back here and you're going to press and hold the power button and then you're going to roll the, the this off and i'm not going to push the button because i don't want it to go into boot mode but off twice basically just just rolling it so it makes it loses contact twice and then it should go into boot mode i will be doing a detailed video on that on the bench so that you guys can actually see what i'm doing if you're especially help people out if they're having problems so, um, so I talked about the buzzer. The buzzer, the noises, uh, those can be turned off in the app once you have it paired with your, you know, your device with MeshTastic. Um, for $39.90, I believe is what they're going for about right now. I will provide, of course, its affiliate link down below if you're interested in getting one. But for that price, I feel like it'd be pretty easy. To, maybe you don't buy them all at once and do your budget or whatever, but you, you could pick up a couple of these and make it really easy to get something like this is a lot easier to probably convince some family members to carry it with them versus maybe something like this. It looks just, I don't know, for a lot of people, this is like, Oh, what is that? You know, like, um, this looks like, I mean, it's obviously much bigger than like a tile or, um, uh, what's the other one? The, the, I, uh, the iPhone one, the damn iPad or not iPad, just obviously something that is a little less, ominous i guess is the better there's probably lack of a better word uh looking it just looks like a regular little little electronic device and a little tracker so probably easier to convince family members you know could easily attach that little lanyard with the d-ring on there and put it inside a kid's bag and you're out in a public event and you just want to or put it and put it in their pocket and have it attached to a belt loop or something so that if you could keep track of them just by their location, if they happen to wander off, you know, especially if you have uh, smaller children. So very cool, probably not gonna get the same performance, you know, due to the antennas and stuff like that. But in close in type urban type environments, this thing I think is gonna be, uh, in, uh, there's already a lot of people using these, uh, a nice little game changer. Uh, so if you're interested, of course, like I said, the link is below. I'll be doing another video, at least one more video on it to talk flashing it. And then maybe a follow-up video once I've tested it for a couple months. Um, and then you can check out our website, which links will be below. Our other social media uh, accounts are linked below. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. You can like, like the video to help us out here. You can buy me a coffee, the link up here in the corner, if you really appreciated what we're doing, what we're doing here. And you can also... It's free just to stay tuned and come back and watch our videos. Thanks for watching.